Welcome on back to my channel. Once again, I have another palette with sparkly, shiny, shifty shades for you today. So I have three looks using the new Adept Cosmetic House of L palette. And it is such a beautiful palette. And these shimmers are to die for. So let's go ahead and jump on in. This is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So as I just mentioned, I have three looks using the House of L palette. But before I get carried away, let me go ahead and introduce myself. If you are new to this channel, welcome. And if you're only but goody, welcome on back. My name is Ashley. I have a doctorate in pharmacy and I love makeup. So that's how you get Dr. Ash and her makeup. And eyeshadow really is my jam. It is like my favorite thing to present on my channel. But please just call me Ash or Ashley. Now, I just talked about briefly the this gorgeous little nine pan palette from Adept Cosmetics. And I feel like yet again, Adept, baby, you are knocking it out the park. And I am loving this gorgeous palette with these super beautiful, sparkly, ultra sparkly shades that are not glitter. And we also have three mattes. And this palette is actually based on the House of Ill and the original Superman with Christopher Reeves and that whole DC comic series. I believe it's DC. I'm not a comic book person, but you know. So Christopher Reeves was one of the original Superman and I remember him growing up and he had a tragic accident, a horseback riding accident, I believe, that left him paralyzed. However, Sandra, the owner of Adept Cosmetics, is a super big fan of it. So I had to kind of look it up for a second because I was like, is House of L a real thing? So House of L is a real thing and it's a part of the whole comic book series. And the shade names in here are named after the characters from that uh, series. On the back, you do have a quote from jor L, one of the uh, characters from that series. You also have this palette that is made out of 80% recyclable materials, and the palette does retail for $49. Now, you're probably thinking like, okay, a palette $49 is only nine pans, but these shades are beautiful. They are high intensity, high uh, shine, high just wet looking shimmers. These shimmers are top tier, top quality. And I definitely feel like the price is warranted. If you were to pick up five to six shades from any particular brand as singles, it will run you about the same amount anyway. So I don't feel like there's an issue with the price point because these shimmers are just top tier and I had no problem using them with a brush. So that's even better. Okay. So the palette currently at the moment is out of stock, but it will be returning this summer. And the palette is definitely limited edition. She's saying this is very limited. Okay. So if you want it, and when it comes back, go ahead and get your hands on it. I think it is a beautiful, beautiful palette, beautiful summer palette, has some gorgeous, gorgeous pops where you kind of be neutral or you can just kind of just take it there, okay? A few other facts about the palette, as I mentioned before, these are Kryptonian looks that you can create with our House of L palette. And we created this in honor to, of our love and portrayal of Christopher Reeve's portrayal of Superman and also the Garrett Morrison version of Superman in the comments, okay? Like I mentioned before, very limited edition. She also does give a warning about keeping your palette in a cool, dry area, and I always recommend that with your makeup because that actually helps protect the longevity of your shadows, and also because the sh shimmers in this palette are very shimmery and require a good primer to prevent fallout. And I do go ahead and talk about my primer that I use. I always go ahead and use my Urban Decay Primer Potion that is usually my standard primer, and then I also did go in with my NYX glitter or glue primer. You can pick this up like at Target, Ulta, you know, any place basically you get that sells NYX. I really like this primer and it's affordable, okay? This palette contains three mattes, five multichromes, and one shimmer, so hence the price does kind of go up. It is free of glitter, talc, mineral oil. The palette is also vegan, okay? The shades are also re uh, removable, so if you're one of those people who like to kind of mix and match your palettes, redo things, put the shades and other palettes that you make, you are going to be able to do that with this palette as well. 
The palette is actually made and assembled in the United States of America. And I thought that that was a little bit different because, you know, usually Adept does make their uh, products in Shanghai, China in a very high certifiable lab. But this palette was actually made in the United States. And also, in addition, if you do not know, Adept Cosmetics is also a PETA approved print and they do not test on animals. So we have some very pretty, pretty shades in here. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of swatch them out for you, especially the shimmer shades. So first up we have jor L right here. Then we have Laura Van L and then Cal L. And if I'm mispronouncing this, I'm sorry. <laughs> so to the first three shades. And these shades are so smooth, very smooth. And once again, I do want to mention that these are not glitter. So if your eyes are sensitive to that, you should be okay. Next up, we have Zor L. And this is, Lord, this is my favorite. We have Allura Zor L. And we also have Kara Zor L. So these shades are very pretty as well. So very beautiful shades. And these are kind of more light swatches, but you can definitely... Build these shades up to get more intensity and using that NYX glitter glue definitely does help them pop. Then for our mattes, we have the shade Aroke L, we have Con L, and then we have Mon L. I find that the mattes, like you can definitely, I feel like the shade Aroke L, which is the more peachy shade, is definitely a little bit lighter, but it does kind of build up a little bit, but I do think if you're pretty deep complected, that shade might not show up on you. But the shade Con L does show up nicely and the same with Mon L. You don't have to worry about it being so vibrant or you can just build it up where it's bold. So this is the beautiful color story that we are working with today. So let's go ahead and jump on in. I'm filming this a little bit differently because my time is just... <laughs> like I just need more time <laughs> okay so I'm doing one look for you and then I'm going to come back and do these two looks for you I'm filming on two different days but let's go ahead and jump on in let's go ahead and get started with one of the looks I have my eyebrows filled in using my goof proof pencil shade 3.75 as always my tried and true Urban Decay Primer Potion Shade Caffeine. So I'm actually about to go out for the day. It's actually my birthday. Mm -hmm. And I got the palette in the mail yesterday. And I was like, let me just, since my equipment was sitting up, I was like, let me go ahead and film this. And I have to use this. Like, oh my goodness. And this whole, this little three row, mm, the whole palette, but yeah, I have to use Zor L. So, we're gonna do a look with that real quick.
All right, so I am back, and this is the final look. It is gorgeous. This shade, mm, I'm going to need a backup of this shade because I don't know if I got to order another palette. Girl, can you make a single? Because Zor L is gorgeous. It's like orange, copper, green. It... It is like the ultimate multi-chrome shade. Red, it's beautiful. Then I put a little jor L right here in the inner corner just to give it a little extra pop. The mattes are nice. They're, um, they're nice, but they're not like where they're overpowered because the colors are like, you know, really like, ooh, okay, like you got green, like a turquoise and a peach and an orange. But there's something like you can build up and you don't have to be so afraid of and they perform just like other adept mattes. These shades perform just like other adept shimmers. I did have to go ahead and use my glitter glue just because I feel like that's usually sometimes the best way to apply these shades, but I am in love. I did not do lashes but I put on my Bad Girl Bang mascara. I have been using the Grande Lash Serum and I haven't even been super consistent, but like two weeks ago, I was like, I am getting some lashes because y'all know I don't have any. And so it still probably looks like I don't have any, but this is like a long way from where I was, okay? A super long way, okay? And I'm like, oh, they're actually looking longer. They're actually getting longer. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more thickness, but we'll see. But for the rest of my face details, <laughs> Danessa Myrick's Bomb, the Powder Bomb, shade seven. You can see I've been loving this product. Went in with a little bit of concealer. I did my concealer underneath and I went in with the M20 concealer by Pat McGrath. Then I took my bronzer from Minted Cosmetics and this is the bronzer in Vacay right here. Uh, for my blush, did I put it up? Why would I do that? For my blush, I went in with this Clarity Cosmetics blush. This is in the shade Extra Shot, please. It's a really nice, warm, terracotta blush. Then I topped it off with the Best Buds blush from Menagerie Cosmetics. So this is Best Buds. It came out with the Sugar High palette. It's like a dual comb blush, but I put it on the tops just to give like that highlight. Mm, effect and for my lip combo I went in with this liner from Dosa Colors this is the liner uh, called Amberish it is a collab with uh, Naima Tang this was her coral lip set that I absolutely love and then I went in with a Sephora lip story and this is in shade 76 and this is what it looks like really nice shade I hardly ever wear lipstick I'm taking a gamble I guess We'll see. I'm going to put a mask in my purse. We'll see how it happens, okay? But <laughs> until next time, we're going to create some more looks, but I'm going to run out the door now, and I just definitely wanted to film this, and I think it's like, it's it's so good. That shit. Woo! All right. I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Apparently I was not recording because my battery was about to die while I was showing the color I was going to lay down and I just started, you know, putting the color on and not recording. So I just laid this shimmer down so nothing too exciting there and uh, it's going on really, really well and I was about to add on like maybe 
a third coat and so you can see it is pretty opaque when you layer it on so so yeah that that's what happened there And here are the two last looks for you. And I love how they came out. It was so easy to apply these shadows. But let's jump into the face details real quick. I went ahead and used my concealer. This is the Pat McGrath concealer. I did it underneath the actual powder bomb that I used by Danessa Myricks. This is the powder bomb in shade 7. Been loving this product. And then I went ahead and used my uh, minted bronzer, which is the shade Vacay, right here. Popped in with my Clarity Cosmetics uh, blush in the shade Extra Shots, really pretty. And topped it off with the Best Buds Glowy Blush or the Dual Chrome Blush by Menagerie Cosmetics. So it gave that nice kind of sheen highlight effect and then popped in with my Propa Beauty lipstick in the shade Limitless. So really, really pretty. Now, um, the House of Ill palette. It is gorgeous. I love the simplicity of it. I love how it still keeps with the theme with the nice kind of like faux leather packaging that Adept usually does. And I feel like the color selection is really, really pretty. Now I must admit that this shade and this shade does kind of read the same on the eyes. I'm really trying to figure out the difference like here. It's probably a little bit more orangey and this one's a little bit more pink. If I was to, let's see, this is Cal L right here. 
And then this is Alora Zor L. So Alora Zor L is the one in the middle. So they're both very pretty, but they're both very, very similar. So I would say that would be my only kind of complaint about the palette because on the eyes, you don't really see the difference. So it's just like you kind of get a simple of the shade. And I kind of noticed that in the swatches. Uh, I was like, ooh, those shades look really, 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 really similar. But overall, I feel like the color story is really, really pretty. I feel like these are really nice summer colors, colors that pop on any type of skin complexion, even if you're deep complexed, like these oranges and pinks and everything is gonna pop really well. I'm really pleased also with the shade Cara Zor L. Uh, really, really beautiful rose gold, but it just, it has a lot to be desired. It can be like very orangey. And of course my favorite shade is right here. Like, oh my gosh, if I, I just need a backup of this shade. Like I, I've worn this shade two days in a row. So when I filmed the first look and then the next day, like I love this shade so, so much really really pretty what I do really like about this palette every shade was very easy to apply with a brush I went ahead and used my brush by Sonya G this is the uh, build a pro brush right here this is a natural hair brush didn't have any problem picking up the shade whatsoever I did go ahead and use my glitter glue by NYX I just feel like these shadows um, even though they have a lot of base sometimes they don't have I mean they have a lot of base pigment to them but you know they can be a little sheer but the it just really helps those glitter particles to adhere and I don't feel like these are just straight up glitters but the multi chromes it just helps them appear on the eyes helps them stay all day uh the first look that I filmed for you I wore that for hours like at least about eight hours did not move still look just as opulent as when I put on the shadow. So like this formula is the typical adult formula. I also feel like it's a little bit more enhanced. So the price point is justified for just basically the six shimmers, but the formula hands down is really, really beautiful. I like the light blue. I like the, um, the green also, the, the matte shades are really nice. Now I do feel like this particular shade it is a nice um you know it's a nice crease color nice color to blend out some things but i feel like if you're a little bit deeper that that might not work for you but the orange and the green they're uh, really bright and vibrant it's like my voice is just like <laughs> going but if you wanted to build them up you can so you can kind of just start working them in you don't have to build them up too much but if you want the full impactful color you could just Boom, just go ahead and go there. I also feel like this is a great companion palette. Like if you don't want to use the mattes down there, you can pull in to basically any type of matte that you have and get some really great looks. Like I, this eye is giving me life right here. Both eyes are, this one is giving sunset. It's just really beautiful. On camera, it's looking a little, a little bit more ethereal. Uh, I don't feel like the true magic is showing with this particular eye, but it's very, very just mm, golden, sunset, pink, orange, red, coppery flares in there. And it's really vibrant. This one, of course, you can kind of see a little bit more because of the colors uh, that I chose to pair together. But overall, I feel like this palette is really, really beautiful and like Adept knocked it out the park yet again. Um, this palette is coming back for pre-order. This palette is limited edition, is marked as limited edition. So, you know, yeah, if you want it, if you're thinking about it, I would say grab it. It is so beautiful, especially if you're into beautiful, shimmery, multi-chrome shades. And I feel like these shades are a little bit different from some of the other ones I have in my collection. And my collection has gotten quite extensive lately with the multi-chromes and the super sparkly shadows. Like I'm so into the multi-chromes. Like I am just finding myself <laughs> wearing them on a daily basis and having so much fun with them. So let me know down below what was your favorite look. My favorite look was my first one because I'm, I'm telling you that shade, the shade Zora L, this one, it is doing something for me, okay? But I really love both of these eyes so much. So 
Let me know down below what was your favorite. Give this video a big old thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video, which will be very, very soon. And please subscribe to my channel because you know I would love to have you here in my little makeup family. And with all of that being said, you already know what time it is. It's time for the Chad Dance. Chad Dance. Hey, 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 Chad Dance. Mm, 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 mm,